What's going on? That's a tent. Me, I'm sleeping in that because I'm testing this. Before we even get started, while I was doing the editing of this video, I went back to their Amazon page just to verify some of the information that I had spoken about and they had changed their pricing. It looks like their pricing is getting lower. So for the time being, we're just going to assume they haven't finalized their prices and uh, we'll just move on from there. So ignore any prices I mentioned in the video. Full disclosure, before I even start with anything, uh, about a week ago, I got an email from Eric at East, Hill, right, East Hills Outdoors International, and they reached out to me and they said, hey, well, we saw your channel, uh, see you do reviews, would you be interested in reviewing our new sleeping bag? And I thought about it for a minute, and I thought, well, I, I don't make sleeping bags and I don't work with down, so I'm pretty okay with doing a review for somebody else's <laughs> sleeping system. But um, more than that, I get a lot of offers, uh, email offers, hey, do a review, do a review. And sometimes it's for things like cosmetic mirrors. Do I look like I use a cosmetic mirror? I could probably use one, don't want to review one. Um, or it's, you know, buy it, We'll send it to you, review it, and if we like it, then we'll give you your money back. No, I didn't want to deal with any of that. Eric's like, nope, we're going to send you one um, free of charge. You can give it a test. Um, and I said, sure, I'll do that, but I'm going to give you an honest review. Um, and he said, that's fine. And um, so they sent it to me. It came yesterday. I was going to come out last night. I was out hiking all day, and I got home, and I realized I haven't packed a tent in like four years. So I wasn't going to get out here early enough to do anything um, so I came out today so let's get started I actually before we even open it up all right, I'm gonna go over a little information since I'm using my phone I've got the information printed up so this is uh, a company called East Hills Outdoors International um, they only have an Amazon store it looks like uh, the sleeping bag is called the bison now, the first thing Honest review, guys, you need to shorten the name of this thing. The Bison 15 degrees, 650 down, ultra lightweight, money, mummy sleeping bag. And then it's like for camping, hiking, backpacking, and then it's got the dimensions after it. It's, that's too long. I, I'm not joking. That's, that's it right there. Crazy long name. They could just call it the Bison 15, the mummy sleeping bag, and then put the rest of it. I know Amazon likes super descript uh, titles and descriptions for names and stuff, but wow. Uh, they, it comes in two sizes, the regular and the long. This is the long because when I first saw it, I either got five minutes into the title and didn't see the dimensions at the end or they weren't on there and they just put them on there. So I wasn't sure how big it would be. So the regular is 82 by 30 and it goes for $149.99. And then the long, which this is, is 87 by 32, which I have confirmed. And it goes for $159.99. Comes in three color choices. It comes in a black and yellow, which has got a black shell and a yellow interior. It's got a green, which is like an army green, and it's inside now. And, and then the orange. So guess which one I went for? Duh, the orange. And that's all orange, and it is orange, very orange. I like it. Uh, it comes with the sleeping bag. It comes with the compression sh sh shack. The, not a shack, a sack, a compression sack, which I have it in. And then it comes with um, a big old uh, long-term storage bag. That thing is a decent size. Because it's down, you don't want to store down long-term in a compression sack. You want to have it nice and loose because you can damage the down. Now let's get into the down. I'm going to kind of break down the long title into, we'll look at every, every part of it. We're going to start with down. So it's 650 fill power, um, duck down with a hydrophobic coating, uh, and the bag itself is made of a 20D ripstop nylon. Um, so it's a, a thin nylon. And um, I know if you're looking at a 150-ish dollar sleeping bag that's down, this may be like the first time you're really looking at a down sleeping bag. Uh, and you probably hear things like fill power thrown around a lot and you're like, What's that? Um, so let's talk about the down. 650 fill power. Fill power, what is it? Any kind of insulation, whether it's um, 
down or it's synthetic or you're going bushcraft style and you're going to use leaves or hay or branches or sticks or whatever you got it's not the material that keeps you warm it's the air that that material traps in it that keeps you warm air warms up way faster than the material around it so it creates a layer uh, a barrier between you and the elements that's what keeps you warm not the material so fill power is a rating that scales the quality of the down uh, the higher the fill power number the more loft the down has which means the less down that the garment or the sleeping bag needs which means the lighter it's going to be but what exactly is fill power it is uh, the amount of cubic inches that one ounce of down occupies so this is 650 fill power so one ounce of this down will occupy 650 cubic inches and am i in your spot and a b apparently okay um so 650 cubic inches for one ounce if you had 900 fill power goose down or 950 fill power goose down it would one ounce would fill 950 or 900 cubic inches so obviously less down less weight but higher price so at this point you gotta think if you're absolutely sold on down what is my cost to weight uh, equilibrium right how much do I want to spend and how much extra weight am I willing to carry for that price so 650 it's not great it's not the best quality down it's duck down it's not goose down not top level down by any stretch of the imagination but there are brands uh, people that I know use that sell gear with lower fill power down so it's not the worst for the price you, you get what you pay for, right? So 650, it's going to keep you warm. Um, and the fabric is so thin when you you can actually see through it a little bit and you can see there's some feathers in there. So is it down? Yes. Best quality? No. But you're coming in at a fairly decent price, right? So the temperature rating, what does this down mean? What does all this mean? So this is rated at 15 degrees. That is the lower limit of this bag, 15 degrees. Um, on the inside, and I'll show you, I'll put up a little shot of the, the tag. Inside, there's a, a temperature rating guide, and it says 50 degrees is comfort, 30 degrees is transition, and 15 degrees is the limit. And that's all in Fahrenheit. Um, transition, maybe lost in translation. This is made in China, so I'm not sure what transition. I've never seen that term used on down rating before but it's the your mid level right so it's going to be the upper limits of this bag tonight i don't suggest testing anything at its lowest limit i would go out at 15 degrees throw this on and then freeze um it's going to be 50 or maybe a little higher where i'm at so i expect to be extremely warm because a i've got my big mat with me which is really the only mat that i have i, I usually sleep in a hammock um but 50 degree, 15 degrees, that much down, I'm going to be warm, and I'm a warm sleeper. So if I get up tomorrow, at the end of this video, you see me saying I'm not warm, there's something wrong with this, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I got in this uh, at home and kind of laid in it for a couple minutes in my house, and I almost melted. So I think um, it'll be pretty good. And I'll push that further and further. I've got plans this winter, and which is why another reason why I was like, oh, you want to give me a sleeping bag? I'll give you a really good review on it. Not just instantly positive, but I will do an in-depth review. And, um, but I got plans for this winter. If we get the snow and the winter are saying we're gonna get a, a down sleeping bag, it's gonna come in handy for what I wanna do this year. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's your, your temperature limits. Now, for the last part of this, yes, it is a mummy sleeping bag. Um, it is for camping, hiking, backpacking, all that. The dimensions are right. That ultra lightweight part, let's get to that. Um, on their Amazon store, they've got the regular size, uh, two pounds, 13 ounces, and with a pack down rate or pack down size of eight by 14 and a half inches. That's in its stuff sack. In this. Okay. Um, for mine, this is the long size. Like I said, it's three pounds, five ounces. Well, I could probably scratch that weight a little bit. I had a pillow in there. <laughs> 
Well, no wonder why it was a little heavier than I thought. I'm going to put the actual weight on here. I'll weigh it when I get home. Um, so we're going to figure that's probably without the bag below three pounds. It's probably more like three pounds, one ounce, because I know that pillow is four ounces. Um, with the stuff sack, with this stuff sack, and this is a pretty beefy stuff sack. So it's going to be right around three pounds, just the bag itself. Um, that fly loves me. Um, so super ultra, ultra lightweight, no, I, most people start to consider lightweight below three pounds. The regular size, yeah, it goes below three pounds. It's, this is right at three pounds. It's not super lightweight, but it is designed to go down to 15 degrees, so you do have a little give and take. Um, it's light, um, but not ultra lightweight. Um, so that would be, right now, just looking at what they say, that's the only thing I can really say that is a surprise for what they call it. Uh, it's the 650 fill power down and that's where the weight comes in if this was like 800 or 850 or 900 fill power it would be a lot lighter um, probably two pounds or below but the price would be sky high be way higher than that so yeah it's not bad if you're looking for just specs wise you're looking for something like a beginner's uh, sleeping bag I keep wanting to call this a quilt but a sleeping bag this isn't too bad now the the only thing I did notice that was different, they must use the same bag for the long and the regular because pack down, when you compress this all the way, it, I measured it at home, it was nine by 13. Now they say eight by 14 and a half for the regular. So I'm guessing they use the same size bag. Um, so mine was uh, an inch shorter and an inch wider or inch taller an inch wider there's just like an inch the other way so it's about the same it's not bad it fits in my in my big backpack uh, all right and I've got a compartment underneath this would slide right in um, so it's not the tiniest thing in the world but it is if you're looking at it from my standpoint from a hammock to have a 15 degree top and under quilt it would have to be down to be this small so for the ground this isn't a bad size so let's open this thing up and take a look at how orange it really is uh, the stuff sack is made of the same 20D material for the, the colored section, the orange section right here. The, the caps are, I don't know what they're made out of. Uh, this is uh, probably like 150 or 200D material. This is almost, oh, it's double layered too. So maybe it's like a, like a 90D or 100D, I don't know, it's, it's pretty hefty, probably polyester. It doesn't say anywhere that I could find, um, but they are sturdy. So the stitching looks good on everything. Um, the straps look good. Quality looks decent from what I could tell. I mean, it's it's not, it wasn't thrown together. And this wasn't sent special, like right from them. This was just sent right from their store. So what I got is a good representation of what you get when you ordered yours. Uh, this wasn't sent directly from them. Um, so let me put it in on the pad and then we'll move the camera around and we'll take a look. There's my remote control. I lost it. Hmm. Oh, it's right there. All right, so I got it all laid out. It is every bit of 87 inches. It completely fills the tent um, lengthwise. And it's a decent size width. Uh, I can get in there and still have room to roll around, so it's pretty good. But you've got, obviously it is orange. It has got the mummy hood. It's got, well I could probably scratch that weight a little bit. I had a pillow in there. <laughs> well no wonder why it was a little heavier than I thought. I'm gonna put the actual weight on here. I'll weigh it when I get home. Um, so we're gonna figure that's probably Without the bag below three pounds, it's probably more like three pounds, one ounce, because I know that pillow was four ounces. So that's that's good to good to know. Three pounds, one ounce for the bag in the stuff sack. So a little closer at three pound mark, um, so not too bad. Um, you've got a, uh, a zipper enclosure here, or a Velcro enclosure, just to help keep uh, air out. It's got a zipper that runs, oh, I'm going to say three and a half feet down the side um, so to open it up. And the zipper also has at the bottom 
you can see there's another zipper so you can uh, you can vent it at the bottom if you need to which is a nice touch uh, this is that little indicator that tells you the temperature ratings over here and then just some information the 650 fill power down um, it says 800 grams 28 ounces of duck down 650 fill, fill power um, so a lot of information right on the inside it's got a baffle that runs down the side of the zipper and this is a, a number five it looks like um, YKK zipper uh, coil zipper so it's, they, these are tough tough zippers I know from experience um, it's got a baffle that runs along the side of that to help keep you warm it's got a baffle that goes around your shoulder neck area um, to help keep you warm that you can put together so that you stay as warm as possible it's got a small pocket on that baffle uh, it says for like keys and stuff like that I don't know if I want my keys right next to my face or my phone that close it's not the biggest pouch but you can put some small stuff in there if you wanted to and that's also got a drawstring so you can tighten that cinch it up around you the hood has got uh, a kind of baffle around that as well and that's also got a drawstring so you can cinch this thing right up around you to help keep yourself as warm as possible uh, the foot box is the vaulted is what they call it so it is like a round open foot box plenty of room for your feet it doesn't just taper down to nothing um, again plenty of pull outs tie offs so you can hook this to your sleeping mat so it doesn't slide around so the last thing I want to show on this was it's got this pouch sewn into it which I thought was kind of cool so you can take your pillow or whatever you got if you got a pillow or if you just got you want to throw like a hoodie or a shirt or something and then tuck it right in there So you can make a pillow just from clothes or you can tuck your pillow right in there. That's kind of nice. It goes right in the hood. So um, we'll give it a little bit to get dark and cool off a little bit. And then uh, I'll climb in because I'm already sweating out here. Um, it's got warm today. I hope it cools down a lot. I'm going to be really, really hot. Um, so next, next thing we'll see, I'll be in it. And then tomorrow morning, I'll get with you and I'll let you know what I thought of the sleeping experience in it but I am excited and a little nervous. I haven't slept on the ground in a long, long time. It's definitely a mummy bag. Like, if I really want it to, it's disappeared here. Way too, way, way too warm for it right now. It is uh, still in probably. <laughs> like a, I do look. So I said it was going to look like a carrot in this thing. You're right. It looked like a giant carrot. Um, it's still probably in the high 60s, low 70s right now. I am toasty in here. So the upper limit of being comfortable in like the 50s, that you can't see, I'm giving that a thumbs up. Definitely going to be comfortable in the 50s. I don't need to have it just zipped up. I don't even have the, the inside baffle done. And that's going like right around my shoulders right now. So if I close that off. Yeah. So I'm expecting a good night's sleep. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Uh, at least it's fun, man. Right? So uh, I can't even hear you right now. Yeah, there we go. 
so yeah it's comfortable it's this is very soft the shell so it's a very comfortable bag um, I expect to be extremely comfortable tonight sleeping maybe a little warm I'll probably have it open like this for a good part of the night uh, but I'm gonna try to get some sleep and I will let you know how it goes in the morning so far I'm giving this a, a thumbs up it does what it's, they say it's supposed to do so what more can you ask for all right I'll let you know in the morning how everything else works out successful night in the bison 15 mummy sleeping bag temperatures were probably in the 50s it was it might have felt a little cooler because it was pretty damp but the key uh, fact is I stayed warm and I stayed dry um, I left the zipper undone probably three quarters of the way just because it was it was relatively warm it vented nicely um, it was just comfortable I liked it and of course waking up to this doesn't hurt Yeah, so the, the Bison, uh, let's see if I can get the full name off the top of my head here. The East Hills Bison 15 650 down ultra lightweight mummy sleeping bag for hiking, camping, backpacking. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, some things to keep in mind. It is... Uh, you know, 159 or 100 and 149 or 159 depending on the size you are getting that 650 down uh, so the down quality isn't the greatest so it means a little more down a little more weight um, roughly three pounds for this uh, the long size um, so not exactly super ultra lightweight um, but for the price what you're paying for it it's a pretty good bag um, I will test it more let me see if I can get it in the shot here with me. Um, I will test it more as uh, fall turns to winter, um, and I'll try pushing those limits, see how low I can get it to go. I'll, maybe I'll even try it in the hammock and see how that works out. I do have um, a, an air mat that's designed to go inside of a, a sleeping bag to help with loft. Um, maybe I'll do that, um, but I'll definitely get some more use out of it, do some more tests, but the initial test uh, for the usability and durability and quality of it um, for 160 ish dollars um, pretty good sleeping bag uh, for down definitely a decent price um, so check it out um, the bison 15 it's way more orange than it looks I'm gonna grab some breakfast and then I could go to work in a little while so uh, thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you in the next.